Now I'll explain to you the assembly of a Tesla motor. Insert the washer, mechanical seal and top cover into the rotor shaft. Turn the rotor shaft upside down and hold it tightly. Then use the circlip plier to lock the circlip into the top cover. Once the circlip is locked, make sure the top cover can be rotated freely without any friction. Take the diaphragm, insert it into the casing and lock it with bottom cover. Hammer the bottom cover to ensure it is secured tightly. Use cutting plier to lock the elastic ring inside the casing. This ensures the bottom cover isn't loose. Insert the stator into the casing. While inserting, make sure the stator is fitted properly into the slots of the casing. Now hammer the casing to the ground mildly so that the stator is into the casing completely. Insert spacer and PVC insulator in the casing. And add insulating oil as per the prescribed quantity. Using spanner as a support, insert rotor shaft into the casing. Now, connect the cable connector with top cover. and secure it tightly by using allen screws. After ensuring the alignment of the holes in the rotor head and casing are perfect, hammer the rotor head into the casing. And insert threaded pins in that hole. Use hammer to secure it in place. Repeat the process for the remaining three holes. Next, insert NBR sand guard, shearing ring and stainless steel cover on the top cover. Once the stainless steel cover is inserted, it has to be secured in its place by using four studs. To tighten one stud, you need two nuts where the top nut acts as a grip. Repeat the process for the next three studs. Finally, insert sand guard and cable plug to assemble the Tesla motor perfectly.